Hey, these are crazy times. Everyone out for themselves. Then one day I got a chance to sell my soul, and I took it. Would you like to eat with me? When? You know what love is, Jack? I only heard stories from a long time ago. You recently had any new type of experience? Like what? You got the girl. Why are they following me? The corporation won't stop until it has you. Your only chance is to stop seeing the girl. What if I can't stay away from her? Then uh, you will die. There isn't much time. You're deteriorating quickly. These people are very dangerous. And you should walk away. You ever been scared? I love you. There you go. That was the trailer for Expired, a.k.a. Loveland. Kuya P here. And as you see, I have a special guest, Jillian Wynn, uh, one of the stars on the film of the film. Hello. Hey, thank you for coming out Hi. and uh, giving some of your time today. No, thank you so much. Thank you. How are you? I am well. Um, life is blessed. Uh, it's the weekend. And I really appreciate you giving me time because, you know, it is the weekend. So uh, here we go. But we have this amazing film. Uh, Expired is dropping in theaters on March 18th uh, in theaters, digital and on demand. And you are in there shining. Um, how is I'm it in like there. That's me. <laughs> How's it like getting involved with that project? How did it come to you? Uh, it came to me in a very unorthodox way, almost like a Craigslist, but for like Australian actors and models. You I know? love it. <laughs> <laughs> it came to me in 2019. I thought it was a random who messaged me, ignored it. Some, I thought it was a random Russian. That's what I said at the time. Like, who's this random Russian director? Um, ignored it. And then my agent gave me the first audition, which was like uh, to sing a song. I still thought it was some like first time grad from like a film school. And then they sent me and they were like, yep, yeah, he loves your singing. And then they sent me the script. And then I was like, oh, my God, like female lead in Hong Kong, Hugo Weaving, Ryan Ponton. Oh, my God, sci-fi romance, what? Yeah, and, you know, big Wong Kar Wai fan. So I was like, what? Anyway, I'm still like, what? It still feels like, you know. <laughs> That's like amazing. Or something. Yeah. No, I love it. <laughs> yeah. I love the energy. And I've been there. I'm an actor as well and a filmmaker yeah. that got into this just to, con you know, keep that creative, you know, vibe flowing. So that's why I do this as well. So I, I can really? understand when you submit to something and it's like, I'm not so sure. And uh, uh, I had the pleasure of talking to Ivan. That interview as well is on the channel. Uh, so shout out mm -hmm. to Ivan Sen. Uh, so you met him. Uh, he's a good guy <laughs> for all accounts and intents and purposes. He he thinks you were it. You got the casting. What was that like uh, reading for the part and, you know, learning this character? It was surreal. Like they sent me the script and I read the whole script in one setting. And I just thought it was one of the most beautifully written things I've ever read in my whole life. Like, and I'm a big reader. Hadn't read that many scripts, but I've read a lot of wonderful books. Um and, you know, he's had this script for 10 years. And the fact that he'd trust me with the script and that, and that he saw the character in me, like, that's terrifying. At the same time, it's like, wow, he really, he really sees something, you know. Um, and yet, yeah, he believed in me so much, you know. And we talked so much about my family's history and how that parallels with April's character because she's a migrant worker. Um, yeah, it, it was, yeah. Some things I feel like just align and it kind of felt like it. It, it felt like a miracle. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. And so you, so my next question was, what, what did you connect most with the character? So being that it paralleled your own upbringing a little bit in a way, you, you think was what really uh, helped you in embodying this uh, character? Mm -hmm. Well, I think the heart of the character is how 
displaced she feels, you know, culturally, um, physically, just her place in the world. You know, she's not at home and she doesn't really quite belong. Um, and, yeah, like, you know, um, my family, we're Australian, Vietnamese, or Chinese heritage. My parents both escaped from Vietnam, ended up in, in refugee camps in Malaysia where they met, came here to Australia, both, you know, like factory workers still. Um, and in terms of April, like April's a migrant worker trying her best to survive. And if that means she has to be in a nightclub to these lonely men, she does it, you know. But, yeah, yeah, yeah I've got cousins who, um, you know, who don't have the same opportunities that I do who live in Vietnam who've gone to other parts of Asia to work as well. So, yeah, for me, she was she's, she's a real person. Mm. And I, I, I have examples of that close to me and also, yeah, not close to me as well. Like I watch heaps of footage of, women who work in those kind of spaces and yeah yeah yeah. all doing their best all doing their best yeah (laughs) we all gotta live and we all have to figure out how to survive in this world and um Mm -hmm. i feel you uh so what did you uh i see what did you connect it with but what would you say was the most difficult part uh when you finally got on set uh was there any particular scene that made you nervous you know uh, I know for myself when I'm marking out a script like okay yeah. this is the one scene I'm like anticipating to a degree that I hope I nail it <laughs> right oh it's so funny like I'm sure with you Kuya, like with scenes um you know when it's like and then she cries she breaks down and cries like he he's his tears are flowing uncontrollably from his face um it's funny with Ivan yeah Ivan always told me to hold back the tears in any scene he was like the more you hold back the more the audience will feel you know, as human beings, like no one wakes up and, and he's like, I'm going to cry today. Yeah. It's, you go through life, you know, armoring yourself and then something happens and then pff, you're unlocked, you know. Mm-hmm. But what was the hardest thing? I mean, besides the emotional stuff, that, that stuff is hard, you know, like the monologue in Vietnamese was pretty hard. It's, it's, I think it's about seven minutes. That was one take. I think we, that was the only take we used oh, wow. because we had to get, because the restaurant wouldn't let us stay any longer. <laughs> um <laughs> That was terrifying because it's that's the first time she speaks in her native tongue about her upbringing to anyone. Oh. So um, yeah, that felt like I, yeah, that felt like a big responsibility for me. I mean, was that all because things, you don't normally speak the language often, so you had to like relearn for yourself, uh, or just no, because I think, of it? I think just because for the character, it's her first time Got sharing it. something with someone that she's falling in love with, and. As we know, when that happens in life, you start revealing parts of yourself to people you care about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and the ice skating, that was very hard. <laughs> but, yeah, he, he, he cut around it, so I, okay, I look like yeah. I really hated it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so uh, <laughs> you have a partner in Ryan Quantin. Um, This love story is all about you two. Uh, can you tell me about working with him? Uh, Ryan Quantin. Come on, like... I grew up watching True Blood, and it's funny. I remember saying to him, I'm like, you're very different to your True Blood character, you know? <laughs> and now he's like, my, my lover, my soulmate. Um, yeah, he is an amazing human being, like just a fantastic, fantastic actor, so flawless and natural, and he has the biggest heart. You know, I couldn't have done this without him. If I had any other co-stars couldn't have done it he he empowered me so much and just loved me and and just made me feel like I could just fly with him yeah okay. he was amazing oh yeah well it shows on the screen it was magnetic and uh I, yeah that, that's what kept me glued for the entire time and oh, uh, I'm glad <laughs> <laughs> and also not to be remiss but the, I, the, one of the bigger names is going to really catch some eyes on this Mr. Hugo Weaving uh what was it like to work with him <laughs> Oh, Hugo. I love Hugo. He's one of, he's a good friend. Um, insane. Like he's a huge star, you know? And I was, I remember the first day of like meeting him and having photos taken with him and stuff. I was like, oh, he's just a human being. He's just a human being. Then you work and then you meet him. You're like, oh my God, it's Hugo. Oh, he's amazing. You know, he's just so generous. And, you know, he's, he's just such a professional. Like I just watch him on set. Like He's reading a book. He's got his earphones on. He's saying the lines over and over again. Like, you know, such a such a role model and mentor and friend and, you know, just such an amazing presence. Like, no wonder why he's had so much success. He's an amazing actor and an amazing human. Yeah, he's the best. Just, I love it. He's like a little kid, you know. He really is like a little kid. 
Like when we were on the, the ferry to Macau, he was on his phone, like taking photos. Like, just like, and then Ryan and I were just like looking at him and he's just he's a big cutie. He's such a cutie. That's <laughs> awesome. Any knowledge imparted as, you know, as, uh, as an upcoming actor to you or anything that he uh, wanted to share with both you and Ryan or? Uh, yeah, I mean, he just led by example. Okay. You know, like he's, because it's such an, it was such an indie film. It was made for like, a, like $2. Like we didn't have enough crew and like Hugo's carrying his own stuff, his own costumes, you know, they asked if they wanted, if it, it was okay for an Uber to pick him up. He was like, yeah, sure. Like he's just down to earth, humble, loves the craft, loves the story, you know. Um, yeah, he led by example and I, yeah, he taught me so much that I'll remember forever. I love yeah. it. I love it. And just, yeah, when I found out that it was just Ivan, because, you know, usually most of the people <laughs> I've talked to have all these teams and it was such a guerrilla indie type project. Now for you seeing that this was this indie project, but is now getting this huge release with Lionsgate. Everybody, again, check it out in theaters. It's going to theaters, Jillian. It's going to be in theaters and digital oh on demand on March 18th. Sure. Like, yeah. just the scope of this now, how it came from this guerrilla thing, this, you know, yeah project that he loved so much that it took him so long to make and now uh, you're going to be out there shining along with Ryan and Hugo and everything um tell me about this ride a little bit uh, it's it's insane you know like Ivan is a one-man show in Australia you know he's his own painter his, his films are his paintings he does everything you know he buys the paint he sets the paint he does the painting um yeah it's insane I'm I'm so excited for the world to see on like a different scale as well and for like it, it, to have an American release, it's, it's really exciting. Um, yeah, it's, it's very surreal, you know. It, it was a little film. It's a very little, quiet, intimate, romantic, thoughtful, poetic little film. So, yeah, but it's, it's such an important film, you know. I've, I've said it before, but I think human beings forget the most simple things when we live in a world with so much noise and chaos and devastation, you know. We do forget. I don't know why human beings forget how to love but we do and I think when things come along that is a mirror to that like our film about how important it is to love and just to be vulnerable yeah I think it's it's vital the film is vital <laughs> it's medicine <laughs> That is beautifully said, beautifully stated. I love that. Um, Jillian, really, thank you again for your time and sharing. Everybody, again, I want y'all to check out Expired, AKA Loveland. I like the Loveland title, but you know, it's expired <laughs> now, but don't expire it. Check it out. <laughs> March 18th, Lionsgate in theaters, digital on demand. Um, Jillian, is there any uh, way my fans can now follow you, reach out to you? Uh, anything yes. else uh, before we leave out? Yes, yes, find me on Instagram. My Instagram name is Girl and the moon, not girl on the moon or girl in the moon. It's girl and the moon. I love I it. I post a lot, so follow me. <laughs> okay, well, I will be following. I will give you all the love. Please uh, come back as you go along your actor journey. I would love to show you love and light, give you your flowers. Mm -hmm. uh, this was truly a pleasure. Um, so there you go. That's her. I, I'm going to have it all in the description below, y'all. And for me, it's the Legend Kuya P on the NRW and New Release Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Jillian, thank you so much. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Kia. Thank you. I'm sending my love as well. Definitely. All right, y'all, there we go.